With a maximum detection range of 30 feet by 30 feet, the LCR I-30 laser-based time-of-flight sensor from BEA is designed to detect the presence of people and vehicles. Its high-resolution detection field makes it ideal for high-performance industrial doors, vehicle flow safety, and perimeter protection. The NEMA 4-rated housing allows for use in both indoor and outdoor environments. You will find all of the necessary elements for the installation of the LZR I-30 inside the box. BEA's universal remote control is required to program the LZR I-30. The LZR mounting bracket, part number 10LBA, is required for sealing and pole mounting. The mini industrial mounting bracket offers an extension range of 6 to 12 inches. BEA's industrial mounting bracket offers an extension range of 20 to 36 inches. Avoid mounting in areas where vibrations and obstructions may interfere with the sensor. To correctly position the LCR I-30 sensor, carefully apply the mounting template sticker. The gray area indicates the detection range. Drill the four mounting holes for the included adjustable base. Using a 1 4th inch bit, drill the access hole for the sensor cable. If drilling an opening is not possible, use the four cable conduits on the back of the adjustable base. Feed the cable approximately 4 inches through the wall if necessary. Feed the sensor cable through the base. Position the base and fasten the four screws firmly in order to avoid vibrations. Open the protection cover, plug in the connector, and position the cable in the slit. Close the protection cover and fasten firmly to ensure NEMA 4 compliance. Mount the LZRI-30 on its base and turn the sensor until the two triangles are face to face. Cut the power cable to the desired length, strip the wires and connect them accordingly. The LZRI-30 is DC power only. Connect the red and black wires to the power supply of the door control. Connect the blue wire and the blue wire with white trace to the test terminal of the controller. If there is no test terminal, tie these wires in with the power supply. Blue to red, blue with white trace to black. The green and white wires are associated with Relay 1. This is often utilized in the activation input on the door control for the virtual push button function. It can alternatively be used for an optional field. Typically the white wire with the black trace and the green wire with the white trace are connected to the door safety input. The factory default for Relay 1 is active normally open and Relay 2 is passive normally closed. Use the BEA universal remote control to adjust relay configurations if needed. Power up the sensor. The blue LED indicates power and the red LED indicates detection. The BEA Universal Remote Control is required to program the LZR I-30 sensor. For the remainder of this video, we will reference the following buttons. Unlock, Lock, C, Safety Field Width, D, Safety Field Height, Shaky Box, Magic Wand, and Numerical Buttons. Using the BEA Universal Remote Control, first press Unlock and then press Magic Wand twice to activate the visible laser beams. 
The visible laser beams stay activated for 15 minutes or can be turned off by the same sequence. After adjusting the tilt angle of the detection field, lock the LDR I30 into position with the hex key. Lock the position of the base to avoid malfunctioning in case of extreme vibrations. During a mounting side teach-in, the sensor learns its environment and automatically determines the detection field or fields. The factory default is number 4, right, without a background. On industrial doors, the right or left, without background setting, is preferred. To set the mounting side with background, use the BEA Universal Remote Control and press Unlock, Shaky Box, followed by 1 through 5. Both red LEDs will flash slowly and the three visible laser beams will light up automatically for 30 seconds. If you wish to adjust the safety field width, use the VEA Universal Remote Control to press Unlock, C, then your desired field width. If you wish to adjust the safety field height, use the BEA Universal Remote Control to press Unlock, D, then your desired field height. It's recommended to adjust the safety field height a few inches off the ground to avoid nuisance detections. To launch a safety field teach-in, use the BEA Universal Remote Control and press Unlock, Magic Wand, 1. The red LED will flash quickly for 3 seconds and then begin to flash slowly. Wait for the sensor to learn its environment or lock it using your remote control. Be sure the white and green wires are connected to the corresponding inputs before configuring the optional field. To launch a virtual push button teach-in, Use the BEA Universal Remote Control and press Unlock, Magic Wand, 2. The red LED will flash very slowly for 3 seconds. Hold your hand in front of the previously placed sticker to learn the desired detection zone. The green LED will flash 3 times to confirm the selection. The red LED will begin to flash again. Conduct a learn for a second detection zone or wait until the LED switches to green. Check the positioning of the detection fields by placing an object in the detection field. Adjust the field dimensions as necessary. After adjusting the field, always launch a new teach-in and test the positioning of the fields. The LZR I-30 laser-based time-of-flight sensor installation is now complete. We recommend reading the LZR I-30 user's guide prior to performing an installation. The user's guide contains explanations for each step and setting, as well as additional remote control adjustments and troubleshooting information. Still have questions? Need support? Contact BEA Technical Services at 1-800-523-2462 and visit our website, beainc.com.